Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with the wake-up call a few of us still need, myself included. Artificial intelligence will change everything over the next five years, and for one, I have an eerily tragic feeling like what it must have felt like to be a Detroit auto worker in the 80s, watching the development of what could put me out of a job. Back then, it was foreign competition and robotics, and unless you worked in the auto industry, you really didn't have to worry about it too much. Today though, artificial intelligence will be a threat no matter where you work. I'm going to show you how AI is set to change 11 industries, but this video isn't about protecting your job from AI. That might not even be possible. This video is about how to get rich in the stocks that are going to ride that wave before you lose your job. So in each industry, I'm going to reveal the 11 stocks making it all happen. First though, while AI is the big trend right now, if you want to see the five stocks I'm buying for the next 30 years, my forever stocks, Look for the link I'll leave in the description below. It's a free report I put together with The Motley Fool, some of the biggest stocks in my portfolio. These are the stocks I'm following in major multi-year themes, with one of the picks up 100% and the group up an average 94% last year alone. That report is totally free. You're going to see that first stock immediately, and they'll email you that full report with the other stocks. It's an easy way to support the Let's Talk Money community and see some of my favorite stocks, so look for that link below. Back to our main topic though, because the chat GPT breakthrough last year kicked off an arms race in artificial intelligence. All the biggest names in tech, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, all investing tens of billions of dollars to develop AI software to dominate that coming wave. And while other technologies like self-driving cars have failed to live up to that hype, adoption of AI is running faster than smartphones and is going to be a universal in five years. Research by Insider Intelligence shows the adoption rates here of smartphones from 2007, tablets in 2010, and generative AI artificial intelligence in 2022, comparing how fast users adopted those breakthroughs. You can see AI shown here in red already has nearly 80 million users, three times the number of smartphone users at that point in its cycle, and is projected to keep rising. To put that growth into perspective, 10 years after launch, smartphones had reached 260 million users in the US alone. If AI follows that same path, it's going to be pervasive by 2030. And here we see market size estimates from four researchers, with revenue to AI expected to reach from 94 to 298 billion dollars this year. That is growth between 200 to 600 percent in just two years, and the most modest projection here is for the market to grow to 738 billion dollars by 2030. For its part, Bank of America estimates AI's effect on the world economy could lift global GDP by more than 15 trillion dollars, and estimates that market size to 900 billion by 2026, all the while potentially displacing millions of jobs. And while the internet and robotics displaced workers in more specific industries, AI is going to touch every industry, displacing jobs even as it creates others. So I want to walk you through those seven industries and 11 stocks to buy right now. First, let's look at healthcare. And the big problem in the healthcare industry right now isn't lack of data, it's too much information and not enough people to analyze it. We are in a multi-year healthcare professional shortage and literally filling data centers with x-rays, CT scans, MRIs, ultrasounds, data piling up on patients but not using it like we could. In this, AI could be trained on this mountain of data to identify health problems instantly. Survival rates for most cancers would jump with early detection, from 5 or 15% survival with advanced stage detection to 9 in 10 patients surviving. AI could also ease the burden on professionals by completing a lot of those rote tasks like charting, administration, and insurance. One of my favorite plays in this theme is the AI drug discovery recursion pharmaceuticals, ticker RxRx. Recursion is leading in that race to decode biology and recently announced its language model orchestrated workflow engine that low to perform complex drug discovery tasks using a natural language interface. That news led to some heavy buying, including Kathy Wood purchasing more than 74,000 shares for her ETS. Now this still is a fairly small biotech at just 2.3 billion market cap, and like most drug developers, it's not profitable, but has a strong balance sheet and some very strong intellectual property that could make it that takeover target eventually. Another healthcare name with potential in AI here is iRhythm Technologies, ticker IRTC, a wearable device maker with AI capabilities. The the company's Zeo platform incorporates an FDA-cleared deep neural net for ECG detection analyzed within the company's digital platform. The cardiac arrhythmia market alone is huge at over $34 billion a year on 11 million Americans, and iRhythm is taking AI into other markets as well for diagnosis and prediction. Now, operationally, the company has made some missteps, but is improving. The most recent quarter showed a 20% annual improvement in revenue, with sales expected to grow at that pace this year and next. Next, looking at AI's effects on the education industry, this sets up a common picture we see in the biggest effects of AI. 
Here we have an industry that really hasn't changed for maybe a hundred plus years. Even with online learning, we'll still have one professional delivering the same information to many students. Where AI is going to change this is through analysis of student data to produce that personalized learning, tailoring activities and resources for each student, ultimately improving engagement and their learning. AI is also going to enhance teacher efficiency by automating those routine tasks like grading and scheduling. For our AI stocks here, my wife is hooked on the Duolingo app, ticker D-U-O-L, and our son has started learning Japanese as well. The language learning app has grown to 56 million monthly users, annual growth of 47% in the most recent quarter, and has a strong competitive advantage in its 10 years of data. The app uses more than 10 billion student exercises each week to train its model on how people best learn a language. Duolingo has incorporated AI into its Max offer as well as its new Duo radio format to generate those episode scripts. And while increased spending swung the company to a loss last quarter, it is still net cash flow positive in operations and produced $6 billion in free cash flow. It's in the AI changes to the media and entertainment industries where I start getting panic attacks. We're already seeing AI generated deep fakes that look real, Unless that really was Bruce Willis trying to sell me a Russian phone. And it might not be long before your bowtie buddy gets replaced as well. Hollywood scripts are being generated on chat GPT in minutes. I think that's how the Marvels was made because that movie made no sense. Now, the screenwriters and actor strikes did secure anti-AI clauses in their deals with major studios, but it's not going to protect the millions of others that work in writing, filming, and editing. And Adobe, ticker ADBE, is positioning to benefit from that use of AI in its creator economy and entertainment. The company has already integrated AI into its Firefly and Sensei products, and with the results, pretty amazing here. With generative AI prompts, you can change videos and images with a few clicks. Adobe's Premiere Pro is already the leading video editor software, and this is going to keep it there. And unlike those first few stocks, Adobe is already profitable, generating $4.7 billion in earnings and over $7 billion in free cash flow. It's on the expensive side here at 34 times its price to earnings basis, but AI is going to keep that growth in this stock. We're looking at AI in transportation and logistics industries. Both of these have adopted data analytics to optimize scheduling and routing, but the industry is still just scratching the surface of what's possible with artificial intelligence. With more than a third of operational costs at trucking companies spent on drivers and a years-long driver shortage, self-driving is going to boost profitability at these companies exponentially. Unfortunately for investors, it seems trucking companies are just waiting for others to develop that technology. So you're going to get that knock-on profitability, but not the kind of revenue growth that we're looking at in these AI stocks. For that, we have to go back to the software and the developers here. And I'll admit, C3.ai, ticker AI, has been a dog since last year's peak in AI stocks, but has a strong future ahead in this theme. C3 isn't just a play on a specific industry, but is developing products across industries, from supply chains, CRM, financial services, defense, across the government spectrum. The company recently completed a project with the U.S. Air Force to design a system to optimize its fleet maintenance, increasing aircraft availability, and avoiding downtime. And with that, I could see them replicating that program for success in commercial transportation as well, working with the major carriers to do the same thing in trucking. A revenue disappointed estimates last quarter, but was still 17% higher over the year and is expected to keep rising from there. Compared to those other AI stocks, this one is cheap at just 10 times on a price to sales basis. Now, of course, if we're talking about AI and transportation, we can't avoid Google, ticker G-O-O-G, and shares of Tesla, ticker T-S-L-A. Google's Waymo self-driving taxi service is already available in Phoenix, San Francisco, LA, and Austin, every day collecting the data to train its system to roll out nationally. And while self-driving has been fits and starts over the last few years, it could be significantly cheaper than owning a car. Here we see research that estimates autonomous ride hailing could cost a third of what it does to own your own car, meaning this will take off eventually. For his part, old Elon is still promising that launch of the ride hailing service in full self-driving Teslas with the service amounting to almost half the stock's forecast valuation by some analysts. AI is already well advanced in the customer service industry thanks to early adoption of chatbots and those conversational assistants. Whereas these used to be just decision tree programs, talking you through some questions to route you to the most likely answer, today's customer service AI is truly adaptive and predictive. And its early start means this is where we're already seeing those job losses from AI, with a recent study finding 4,000 jobs lost just last May alone, the seventh highest cited reason for layoffs. And in this, we have the AI stock I've been following the longest, Salesforce, ticker CRM, holding the shares since 2017. Now, CRM integrates conversational AI in all its app through its Einstein platform, using customer data to create that customizable and predictive experiences. 
Within the platform, businesses can create sales scripts, AI chatbots, and improve their customer relationship. In fact, Salesforce recently used its platform to triple customer engagement for General Mills, using past purchase data to personalize its marketing content and outreach. After the 109% run in the stock last year, shares aren't cheap here at eight times price to sales, but earnings are expected up 82% over the next two years. Next here, we find the retail industry ripe for transformational change through AI. Like customer service, retail is facing a massive worker shortage, pushing up wages and destroying profitability. Artificial intelligence will not only optimize inventory management, but can improve the customer experience through personalized experiences and automate a lot of this process in sales. Whereas retail associates had to start from scratch, welcoming a customer and finding out what they needed, AI can instantly analyze past data to provide a customer experience and product recommendations. And here, Pros Holdings, ticker PRO, has been applying data analytics to retail since 1985 and has built AI into the core of its platform with over 20 patents and a team of engineers. Starting with the airline industry, Pros has expanded across industries to use its models in everything from supply chain to finance, operation, and sales. Now the platform processes over 2 trillion transactions a year for an immense data set it can use to train its models. In retail, the platform analyzes customer data for dynamic pricing and upselling recommendations. Customers report an average 8% increase in sales plus 2% improvement in profitability. Now, this one is another one of those smaller companies with $1.6 billion market cap and is expected to reach profitability this year on 10% revenue growth. And now before you state and government workers think your job is safe, AI is coming for you too. AI can analyze citizen data for government services as well as recommending proactive policies and all at a reduced cost. In fact, former Associate Deputy Director of Digital Innovation at the CIA, Sean Roach, recently said, AI is transforming how governments operate by providing new ways to analyze data, enhance decision making, and improve services. It can help with everything from fraud detection to emergency response. And of course, possibly no AI company works more with the government than Palantir, ticker PLTR. The data mining and analytics powerhouse has worked with just about every segment of the US government, as well as foreign allies. Palantir is going to be front and center, helping the military develop AI capabilities, cementing a recent $250 million contract with the Department of Defense. Even on its $36 billion size, it's still expected to grow sales by a healthy 16% this year and produce 25 cents in per share earnings. See my forever stocks, the five stocks I'm buying for the next 30 years, up an average 94% last year with the link to that free report in the description below. Or click on the video to the right for why you cannot wait for the right price on cybersecurity stocks, why you need to buy these stocks right now. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.